Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of M Creator Lore. So today I wanted to look at something a little bit different, uh, specifically phosphate uh, or phosphorite. Uh, it's a mineral found in the oceans generally or, you know, rivers and stuff like that. It's um, kind of like a crystal, but it can also be like a mineral as well uh, by the looks of it. So there's different... Um, kinds of different textures and stuff. I think we'll go with this one right here. Um, kind of work on a texture for that and we'll do something with maybe crystals or something that will kind of extend out. And I, the first thing that I wanted to do was just basically texture um, a area that we could kind of get started with um, kind of seeing how everything's set up. So I, I did a, like a three tile thing and I just colored it different colors so I could know where the different parts are so we could easily texture things so that was the first thing that I did uh, just trying something a little bit new uh, although the gray is a little bit too close to the background but that, that's fine it can still kind of indicate that it's something so the first one I'm gonna go with is kind of like that um, kind of gravelly texture for the um, uh, the pebbles for the phosphate uh, this is kind of what I wanted to go with but I'm not sure later on I, I was looking at the texture for the crystal that was growing off of it I'm not sure if it actually fits the orange so we might end up changing the color for it later on but uh, the texture is pretty good uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just adding a couple different shades to it and then we're going to alternate like shift the color a little bit on some of the other ones and then what we'll do is we'll use like three different kinds of shades because those the, those petal bowls online were like a little bit different uh, they were more kind of dynamic in color and stuff like that so I wanted to kind of make sure that there was one or two different um, shades that are kind of break up the monotony of how the actual texture works. So again, I'm just adding a couple extra shades for each individual one based on the hue. And then I can basically uh, work on the gaps between, which was kind of a, like a lighter color, um, uh, kind of like a beige white almost. So we're gonna start working on that. I'm gonna adjust the thing a little bit and then we're gonna fill all this in with a certain color. This is kind of like a beigey white. And then we can add some different um, values that are a little bit offset just for some texture. And I'm kind of just placing them randomly, I'm not being specific with it. Um, it's mineral, so it's going to be kind of a, like a flattish kind of thing. So it doesn't really need uh, dimensions per se, but um, we're already going to get that with the, uh, the pebbles for the thing. So I wanted to make sure that all of this was pretty much the closest that I can get to the, um, the, the, the shade of how dark the things are. So this is where I might change it a little bit too. I might be a little bit darker teal or something. But right now I'm just making sure that all the shapes are falling into place. And I noticed a few things that could have been uh, tweaked a little bit. So that's what I worked on here. And... Then I was working on um, getting, making sure that all the textures kind of like looked good and stuff like that. So just working on making sure that there's seamless and everything looks good when it's connected to other shapes. So I was happy with that. So we I exported that one. And then what I went on ahead and did was uh, I started working on the crystal part. So this took me a little bit of time. Uh, I needed to kind of figure out where uh, I wanted to go with the crystal and how the shape would be. I was noticed that I would have had a hard time doing it that way. So I decided to kind of do a um, scale from top to bottom and I just kind of expanded the shape a little bit. So this is going to be like a two block crystal thing. Um, now I'm just kind of working on giving it some shade so I know where things are going to be and I'm just working on giving it a little bit of noise uh, for around the texture and stuff. And we'll be filling that in with um, different shades and stuff later. Uh, but I wanted to kind of make sure that the base of it was um, good for 
working on it. So we're going to use that darker blue as well, that outline that we started with as kind of like an accent for part of the shade. And we're going to mix this in a little bit at the bottom, just kind of bringing it in with the rest of the texture. And we'll outline some of the stuff in the middle as well, just to kind of give it some texture there. And then I noticed that there was quite a bit of uh, that lighter blue there. So I, I started working on trying to get the right shade for that would kind of go well with the actual um, the blue. So it was a lot harder to find a shade that would work, but I did find one that was kind of eh, worked well. So I added this as an accent for basically highlights and stuff. I didn't want to use too much in the middle, but overall it looks pretty good. So I, after I did that, I cleaned up the edges and then I exported it to basically a bottom texture and a top texture, hence why we basically tiled it a certain color. And then I wanted to make sure that there was a just a single bottom texture or a regular stage that it will basically grow from. So looking at the um, things, I wanted gravel as well. So we needed to create like a gravel block. And I was thinking maybe we'll go with like the same colors as we are going with the thing. Now that I have actually seen how it looks like in game though, I'm kind of wondering if we can't go ahead and um, use one of those different color palettes that I suggested a while back for the stone um, as a gravel texture for the coloring. So we might be able to get something a little bit different or even make it a little bit different in general because uh, Minecraft gravel is a little bit different and it does kind of blend in with the environment a little bit too well. So, um, but I like the texture of it in general. It's just the it does blend in with the the stone and everything too much okay so now I needed to import the assets so I could basically get this all set up and this is the pretty much the first thing that I worked on was the setting up the gravel itself uh, gravel would have been easy uh, because we already had something like sand and we could just adjust a few different settings and base it off of uh, the sand block that we implemented uh, so once I've gotten that done, I went on to the M Creator or Minecraft Wiki and set up the values for hardness and resistance. I was just looking at the other settings just to make sure that everything was set up properly, and it looks like everything is. So um, yeah, outside of that, I we we still need to have a drop of some sort to give uh, something from the gravel. I think that would be a good idea. Right now, it's just kind of like a building block. But um, we can do that in a future video. We can give like, I don't know, pebbles or something that could be given into, um, I don't know, make, made into a different type of material. Uh, maybe something the same color as the gravel. That would be kind of cool. Kind of like a twist on to Minecraft, Minecraft gravel, but more of like a, I don't know, like um, a specific type of block for decoration and stuff and building. I don't know. And just throwing some ideas around. Anyhow, we started working on the um, the blocks for the crystals. So this is the the one for I believe the pebble, uh, if I remember correctly, so it's like the pebble texture. And then I wanted it to generate. And this is kind of where I started having some issues with the thing. I thought I was going to generate through features, though playing around with features and stuff, I haven't been able to get it to generate. So what we might end up doing is we might, there's a couple things that I thought of uh, this morning when I was waking up and uh, what we could do is we could either run it through structures because structures can go in water and be underground. Um, obviously it might have a little bit harder time, but because the type of dimension that we went with, it should be fine. Uh, the alternative would be to try to see if the, um, if we can get a specific block to generate under the ocean, um, kind of like a different type of block of the pebble and then have it generate the or when it's been added. I'm not sure if it will actually trigger when it's added, but uh, it might be worth a shot to try it that way. Other than that, we might have to run it through structures. 
Uh, right here, what I'm doing is I'm just making a condition for that feature to make sure that there is water above the um, actual block and that the block is like sand or whatever. And I was just trying to see if there was anything that I could actually use. So I ended up using this one and selecting that. But like I said, I, it didn't turn out to work. And I tried a few different other methods and stuff like that. And it still didn't want to uh, do what it needed to do. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm just testing if the block is um, basically that sand. Because sand spawns underneath the ocean. And then what I'm doing is I'm using the place block to spawn the blocks. Now this would have generally worked if the water uh, condition was returning to true, but I'm not sure if it's um, the reason for the condition, if it, that's the reason why it's not working or something like that, it probably is. So we'll have to figure it out in a future video, uh, probably next episode. Uh, we uh, There's a few things I wanna do next episode, so I will probably end up doing that, but uh, overall, uh, what I ended up doing was just at going ahead and adding the crystals next. Uh, going ahead and doing that because we'll need those implemented anyways, so either way. So once I got the uh, crystal blocks uh, implemented, I added all three of them. So there's the single one and the two double ones, and I changed the settings just a little bit uh, to kind of be... A little bit unique for the damage and resistance or uh, you know the uh, hardness and resistance so those are the ones that I wanted to do and then we're basically just uh, setting up the bottom bottom double one uh, and I'm just basically naming it as I go and then I'm setting some of the color on the maps right at the moment so we could basically get the color on the map set up and then I wanted to go ahead and make sure that these were in their own folder so it would be a little bit easier. And this is basically where I was just updating the blocks a little bit so they were all set up for the generation and stuff. And even though that didn't even work. All right, so actually testing in game. Um, again, nothing spawned, nothing generated. I'm not sure why. Um, it might be because their water is something you can't really bypass uh, with features. I'm not sure. Uh, there isn't many things that you can actually use to make sure that it spawns in water. I thought maybe a generation condition might work, but uh, we'll see if we can't just uh, replace sand or something like that. Um, there's a few different other things we can try, but uh, at the moment, uh, not, nothing basically generates. So right now I'm trying to find a cave that we can go and check out to see if there's any gravel. I kind of traveled a little bit away from spawn, so <laughs> should have probably checked that out uh, before going and leaving, but uh, we'll see if we can't find a cave quickly and see if we can't find the gravel specifically. So here's a little cave. We'll see if we can't get in there and um, find gravel. So, oh, yep, there's there's some right there. So it does have gravity and everything, so that's perfect. Um, it looks like it's generating pretty commonly. Uh, there's a few different patches right there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, with the color, I think it would be maybe a darker blue or something like that would uh, be a nice uh, change for the actual gravel texture. Overall, though, I think the, the texture looks good uh, for gravel but uh, we kind of need to change the hue a little bit I think that should be more of like a gray cyan kind of color and stuff but um, overall we will make some changes for that in the next video for sure uh, the other thing that I wanted to just quickly take a look at was the actual blocks that we created for the crystals since they didn't generate so we'll place a couple of these down um, and then we'll see basically what the two different crystal types look like so that's the regular crystal and these are the double ones so this is the double and this is the single so that's basically what it will kind of look like I will update the bottom part so it will be blue to kind of match the uh, thing a little bit in the next episode as well. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. 
Peace out.